All right, so I'm back with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 video. You're seeing some footage of the new Candor hideout map. And we're on the eve of the launch of season three, so. Might as well show some footage from season two while I still can. Right now I'm sitting at rank 154. Not in this game, but as of right now. So I'm just trying to see if I can get to 155 while the double XP event is taking place. So in my previous video, I mentioned how this map is pretty generic. I mean, it's like your archetypical Middle Eastern slash Central Asian place. You got destroyed buildings. <laughs> well, I mean, this is like a, it's a pretty mod. It's not like a village out in the mountains, like a Zir cave. You got obviously modern infrastructure all around. It's pretty urban. It's a small place. So, like, I mean, the name of the map is Kandor Hideout, so you can assume it's like some. I get clowned right there. So you can assume there's like... Well, I mean, it kind of looks fairly urban. And then I just noticed that yellow flag on top of that building, that lab. The skull and crossbones, it looks like. And uh, so obviously this building right here that I'm outside right now, this is the key building, the lab they call it. Got multiple points of entry, got stairs at either end, and then you've got... Oh wow, what a pussy. There's a guy with a suit in the other room of the factory or whatever that place. I don't know what you call it, that, uh... The wedge to the north. So I'm not gonna lie, I like to camp out in this, this building for as long as I can. But you're not invincible, so credit to the, uh... The map designers. So this is my probably my favorite build that I have. It's inspired by Metal Gear Solid 3. I've got the M16 with the commando camo. I'm using the the Corvus barrel, the monolithic suppressor, iron sights. I've got the recon perk. Oh man, I reloaded at the wrong time. But I find that it's generally pretty good. The only thing that's missing is the uh, the OG blueprint that you got for rank getting to rank 155 in the initial season. I really hope they bring that back because that's the uh, the model that's used in Metal Gear Solid 3. It's got the. Uh, the iron sight that doubles as a carrying handle. That's the uh, the authentic look. So, Activision and Infinity Ward released the trailer for season three just earlier today. So there's going to be some new maps. There's like um. A 6v6 version of Anaya Palace called the Anaya Incursion. Backlot is going to return from the original Modern Warfare. That's going to be fun. I think there's a new sawmill map and there's another... Might be another multiplayer map. Hard Hat from Modern Warfare 3. That's a really tiny map. It's going to return as a face... As a gunfight map. Uh, finally, we get a new sniper rifle, the SKS. I don't know if it's a real gun, but it's probably modeled after a real one, and uh, from what I can tell, it's a semi-auto. That's going to be cool. And Oh, and um, going forward, you'll be able to, like, 
from what I understand, you'll be able to mix and match parts from different guns. So you could have like an AK stock with an M6, M4 barrel. And maybe like even like a shotgun for a grip or something. That's going to be pretty cool. And then you can, I can finally make some guns that are more, that are closer to, um, Metal Gear Solid 5, the way you can mix and match gun parts. That really... <laughs> yeah, this gun is great. Oh! So I find that, like, a lot of my deaths are, like, within a handful of seconds of getting a kill. So I have a habit of, like, getting a kill and then reloading or, like, running from my position, and that usually gets me killed. So those are really the two the two main habits that I need to improve upon are like making sure my gun is pointed higher up and in a spot where an opposing player is likely to appear and also like being a bit more patient after I get a kill. Oh and apparently uh, you'll be able to customize your weapon skins and Warzone will be four player teams now or as of right now it well going forward it'll be four player teams but as of right now it's just three player teams and the war zone cap is at 150 players but with four player teams i think they'll increase it to 160 just so it's a multiple of four i think i might give it a shot oh and alex from the campaign, he's going to be, he's live, and he's going to be a playable operator in multiplayer modes. So he didn't die after all. I always thought his death was pretty stupid to begin with, but I'm glad that he's not dead. He's got a prosthetic leg, lower left leg if I'm not mistaken. And I finished 13 and 6, not a spectacular game, but this is one of my better matches on this map.